I'm working on something right now. So hopefully, if, if nothing goes wrong and, and I'm still alive and everything goes smoothly, you know, it'll be out in cinemas next year. So fingers crossed. Yeah, but but it's tough. I think. I think writing a feature is probably like a million times tougher than a short, um, and um, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm quite keen to know what's the writing process for the other filmmakers. Uh, maybe you, you guys could share because for me, I'm I'm not a very formalistic sort of writer. There are some writers that are really good. They could just churn out twenty, thirty pages every day, and they're very good at you know at at looking at you know the three acts, like, you know, that's that's the end thing and we're gonna have this huge climax here and turning points and all. I don't really work like that. When I write it this film, I started literally thinking that there's gonna be a lighthouse. So so you see I, I kind of go on a journey while writing that and through the drafts I realize that, you know, it's not about finding hope or, or finding lighthouse in that way. In a way it's about going home. So eventually the film became about going home than going somewhere else. It's not about going to another destination. It was about going home and, and it's about you know moving on with life as as all of us do as humans. You know, we just have to get by, we have to move on. So so it's it's really interesting, I think it's it's very tough. Maybe you guys could share. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Uh, most of the films that I shot in Brazil I always wrote with a friend and I don't really think about structure or like uh, Drama, like in the sense that oh, it needs to start here and like have this minute here and then change to here. I always like to write and, and write and then at the end when you have like a first or a second draft, you look and say yeah, do we have the do we have like a story here? Yeah, we do or we don't or what's missing? Oh, and I think it's much more about the characters. I think not the the films that I like most are the ones that I like the characters and I want to know about them more. And uh, I think I want to make films like that where I care about the characters and uh, I want to know what they do and how they live. And um, I think for me now they more like that. Um, it's interesting this question because I am probably like the worst scriptwriter, not just here but in the whole world. Um, I can't come up with anything original or stories. So. I, I, I'll be the first person to admit I'm like the worst scriptwriter ever. Um, but what I have this thing for me going on is that I tend to like visualize things. So if I read something like a book or a magazine or something, um, I can visualize the, the set, the, the, the scene, the characters and so on. So um, for my writing process is I will come up with a story. So as you have seen, it's not very original. But um, once I get the story pretty much locked down, um, I start storyboarding. I don't start scripting first. Um, reason being that if I can't visualize it on paper, then I can't bring it on the screen, then I can't film it. So um, I get the story, I start storyboarding, and then once I start storyboarding pretty much 80% of the story, then I start writing the script. So it's kind of like going backwards in that sense. So it's a very tedious process because um, the script will keep changing, drafts will keep changing, and story keep changing, and every time the script changes or the story changes a little bit, I have to like go back to my whole process of drawing storyboard and stick figures and stuff like that and, and trying to see if the script works on vision so, um, until I can get it done. So when I, when I hand in the script, um, to my professor, and what I film on set, um, I wouldn't say it's totally different, but um, yeah, I don't actually have a script on set when I film. For me, it's the storyboard, because uh, everything is been translated in images. So yeah, that's that's my sort of writing slash drawing process. Uh -huh. yeah, um, I, I don't think I'm a natural writer, but that being said, I only make films. I mean, usually I write and direct, but the reason why I say I'm not really a natural writer is because I actually believe in the Iqmal Bergman's belief that you write, you chain your demons to a chariot, and then you write them. You know what I mean? So I find that it's really, I, I can only write, frankly, uh, 
on things that I find either painful, scary, frightening, or things like that. I don't I don't usually write for happy happy things or happy stuff. Um, but actually, I just want to say something. It just hit me that you know uh, this gentleman was asking us about uh, making films in Singapore. I realized that each of us really gave a really negative impression of making films in Singapore, and I hope that there's not someone from any of our old film school or something thinking, oh, this is terrible, this is horrible, because it's not. It really isn't. It's just about developing a culture, you know, creating a community, because we are really young, and that's, that's nothing to be really ashamed of. Back in our school, for example, the alumni of the school, it doesn't, I think we're all from Nian, right, aren't we? For example, I mean, we're from BCA, but we're actually actually from Nian Poly, and in, in my old film school, BCA, um, the old alumni would often be contacted by the graduating students and they would actually ask the students to actually come back and shoot the film for them like the, be the DOP and stuff like that. And I think it's just a matter of um, you know, creating that, uh, okay, cool guys, you know, we're doing something for the community. I mean, the older guys, obviously, whether it's a point of guidance or things like that, but I think it's something to think about. And I just want to say that Actually, in Singapore, it's a brilliant place. It's a brilliant place to make films because the cultural center of the world will be changing to the east. It's just a matter of fact because, you know, the economics, the people in the west are really interested to know what's happening in our area. And I think that's really, really inspirational. And the recent uh, Singapore Short Film Awards, I was there every day. I'm watching uh, Singapore films for the first time in three years. And I was really astounded by, I guess, the ideas that my fellow Singaporeans have. And I think it's really inspirational to be around creative people. And whilst it may appear to be really difficult, I think that we can really, you know, be the next new wave or something. Good news for those who are 